All right. Hello, everybody. This is Paul Chabot with Coalition Drug Free McKenney. Uh, today, I am going to review some resources on our website that I hope will be helpful to you. Uh, this will last maybe 20, 30 minutes. And if you have questions, as always, uh, you can reach out to us at info at drugfreemckinney.org. All right. First, I'm going to see if I am able to share this screen correctly. All right, great. Now I believe I'm sharing the screen. So um, obviously this is our website, drugfreemckinney.org. And at the top here, uh, typical buttons. In the bottom, uh, what I want to bring your attention to is to always take a look uh, for our quarterly networking meetings. These are in person. And so just to give you an idea, depending when you see this video, this event may have already passed. Um, but just to give you an idea, we have an event coming up here in January. And the event is uh, a speaker from the FBI who's going to discuss uh, cybersecurity, how to keep kids safe. So this meeting will be held on Wednesday, January 19th from 6 to 7 in the evening at the Stonebridge Ranch a HOA Community Room located at 6201 Virginia Parkway. Uh, these events are always free, so you're always welcome to um, come over to join our team, our volunteers, and meet other uh, like-minded folks that are working together to keep kids off of drugs. Also along the top, uh, this is our, our new tab, uh, marijuana dangers. Marijuana dangers are not necessarily new uh, dangers at all, but there is a lot of new information that's out there about the dangers of marijuana. So just one statistic, about 30 years ago, the THC tetrahydrocannabinol, which is the the main sort of ingredient in marijuana that gets people high was about one to 3%, one up to 3% THC, tetrahydrocannabinol. Today, because of how marijuana is produced uh, and the edibles and all the stuff that goes in to get this high concentrated marijuana, you could see THC well above 30, 40, 50, 80%. Uh, so it's definitely not uh, the marijuana of the 60s or the Cheech and Chong movies. It is very dangerous, uh, very addictive. In states that have allowed for legalization, uh, just look at the emergency room admissions for kids that are eating, whether it's these gummy bears infused with marijuana or whatever it may be. So this site here has a parent's guide, right? Uh, and these are facts. You can just sit down with your your kids, but this is getting you smart on it. And there's links, the do's and the don'ts, signs your teen may be using marijuana, and then a number of resources. A youth guide. <clears throat> so uh, a guide for middle high school kids, we could talk about the challenges. Now look, for the most part, kids wanna do good in school. And uh, there's a lot of peer pressure. The vaping devices, which are easily hidden, are largely used now for uh, smoking marijuana. But having your, your children look at these negative impacts and on their education, you know, whether they want to go to college or whatever it may be, or a trade school, how this impacts their life, impacts on the future, lower sat satisfaction more likely to earn a lower income, more likely to be unemployed. And then here's ways to say no, right? Uh, no, thanks. I'm not really into that or no, I'm good. How about I'm um, no, my mom would freak out and I'm really not trying to deal with that. Oh man, I can't. My job could do a random drug test, which is true. And in high schools, in some schools, we do random drug testing for athletes, non-punitive. How about no or no thanks or no, nah, I'm good. And then of course, resources here at the bottom. So let's back out. There are some videos here to be a role model. Just click on one, see if this is up.
All right, pretty good stuff. Um, as you scroll down here, virtual posters on the page here. And then these are just quick little facts. Let's just take a look at one here. Myth, marijuana is not addictive. Fact, marijuana can lead to dependence and even withdrawal symptoms like irritability, anxiety, and difficulty sleeping. Approximately one in 10 users will become addicted. For individuals who use before age 18, addiction rate increases to one in six. All right. Uh, we do have a program up here called Youth Entrepreneurs. I can never say that word correctly every time. Uh, sign up for McKinney Youth Entrepreneurs. Try that again. So Coalition for McKinney Drug for Youth is proud to launch this program. If you know kids are looking at getting involved in um, creating their own business or they have a business, right? Like some kids, um, just give you an example, go to thrift stores, buy used clothes, and then fix them up and resell them. Or maybe they have a lemonade stand on the weekends or cutting grass, whatever it may be. We thought it'd be kind of a neat idea to create this entrepreneurial program. And if anybody's interested, they can complete the information here. And then uh, we'll set them up, uh, hopefully, with uh, other youth that will sign on and get them to virtually participate in uh, networkings amongst themselves so kids can learn uh, from other kids about what's working and how to get a business going. All right, so let's continue through the website. Um, maybe I should start it off with this. You know, what is Drug Free McKinney? We're a collaborative at work, at effort working with schools, parents, youth organizations, and all these other entities that are listed. And our goal is to measurably reduce youth drug use, tobacco, alcohol included. Now, a coalition, we make up 12 sectors of a community, as you can see many of them listed here. Uh, but it's really an, an open organization in the sense that anybody can join and be a part of it and provide input or learn. So a great way to get involved is obviously our quarterly networking meetings, which I mentioned here at the top. So when you register here, great opportunity to come in, meet people and uh, figure out how to get involved or get information uh, for others. All right, uh, we're on Facebook. We have these different accounts as well as YouTube. And then you can see Hot Topics, Vape Free McKenney. Uh, Red Ribbon Week in my life. We'll just click on Red Ribbon Week just to let you know this has already passed. Uh, oh, so we did. We took it down because it's passed. Every year, Red Ribbon Week is end of October. And during that time, uh, you'll see signs out there about take the pledge. And what we're encouraging parents to do with their kids is to take the pledge that they will, that they will remain drug free. And you'll usually see those signs um, at the entrance or exits outside of schools uh, in the grass. All right, hot, let's see. Oh, that's interesting, okay. Youth surveys, as this is opening up, this is grades six through 12. So this is a, a school wellness survey for participation. Resources, a lot of information links here. And as you scroll down, we always tell people is if it's an emergency, obviously dial 911. Um, but from this perspective, if you're looking just to learn more, there's some great websites here. National Institute on Drug Abuse, Federal Agency, NIDA. And you can see the hyperlink right here, nida.nih.gov. SAMHSA, Substance Abuse and Mental Health Services Administration, another federal agency, a lot of great resources. Drug Free World, this is a private uh, nonprofit, but I find that uh, we find that their information is relevant and very powerful as well. So let's just take a look and scroll up and look at NIDA. A lot of information here on NIDA. So you can go to drug topics and we can just see like treatment, recovery, prevention, uh, addiction science. But let's go back. Let's see, let's hover over. You can see all the different drugs that they have here. Alcohol, cocaine, fentanyl, hallucinogens, her heroin, inhalants, kratom, and then marijuana. Follow it on over, synthetics, bath salts. Uh, there's just a lot here. We can click on more drug topics and this is where you're gonna see sort of these four areas that the government focuses in on to reduce overall drug use and ab abuse, where it's the addiction science, really understanding <clears throat> that this is a disease and we're looking for ways to measurably reduce this. How do we prevent uh, people from using in the first place? Education prevention campaigns in schools, talking to kids, really important. The recovery aspect. Right, a lot of 
uh, people have problems and they get uh, into this addiction phase and hopefully we'll get them into treatment, whether it's inpatient, outpatient, NAAA, whatever it may be, but beginning that uh, recovery process. And treatment, uh, there are locations that will um, absolutely take you in uh, to deal with the detox and then working you through treatment for uh, in-house um, programs as well. Okay. Let's see, that was NIDA. Now we'll look at SAMHSA. So get help. This is kind of neat. We talked about your, let's say you need to find a treatment facility or for a friend or family member, right? So findtreatment.gov. We'll just scroll down here. I'll type in the zip code 75072 out here in McKinney. And let's just see what pops up. All right. So within a 25 mile radius, this is all types of treatment. You can actually, you know, select, uh, you know, different types. But just to give you an idea, so you got Grace to Change, Exalt Healthcare Solutions, Addiction Treatment Resources, Addiction Services, Access Counseling Group Frisco. So you've got a number of, wow, I mean, look at this. You got one, at least four pages of resources here for you within a 25 mile radius. And that's just of McKinney, right? So I'll back out so you can see where this was. So it's samsa.gov find a facility near you, and then click there. Other resources here, National Suicide Prevention Lifeline, 800-273-TALK, Behavioral Health Treatment Service Locator, find locations near you, and National Helpline. And then Drug-Free World, click on that real quick. Uh, they got a lot of literature brochures up here on all these different drugs, including alcohol out subscribe link you can sign up here and you'll get messages from us on quarterly meetings or other announcements we are a nonprofit so if you'd like to donate you can click the donate tab and uh, all the funds go back to drug free McKinney partners will be growing this out newsletter. This is our most recent newsletter dated January 2020. We talk about our coalition meeting here, some of the topics, high risk substance use prevention, what are protective factors. So you know what are these protective factors? Take a look here. Parent or family engagement research shows that it's always important to have a, a family member involved in a child's life. That's sort of obvious, but the most important person in a child's life is a parent, parents. Family support. Uh, it's really important that parents uh, are parents and not friends, that you are very direct and outright that, hey, kids, you will not use alcohol, tobacco. It, there's no like middle ground here. You need to show that disapproval. You got to monitor your kids, right? It's not just checking in on them, walking in their room occasionally, but looking at their social media accounts, having deep conversations with them, understanding that all kids make mistakes. They're kids for crying out loud. But how do we as parents do the best we can to um, address those behaviors and help them work through to become stronger for those experiences? School connectedness. So, you know, the research shows that to help keep kids away from bad things like drugs or alcohol, it's important that children just don't only go to school. I think it's important and research will show that they're involved in other things as well, whether it's sports, uh, maybe a church group or volunteering out in the community, whatever it is, they've got to have another connection besides just going to school. Here are some uh, parent engagement strategies. Talks about what is parental monitoring. Uh, talking with teens about alcohol and drugs, five conversation goals. All right, so this gives you a brief overview of the resources on our website. So bookmark it, drugfreemckinney.org. And let me see if I can stop screen sharing. All right, so we're back. And I just wanna thank you all for having a chance to view this video. Please share it uh, with friends and family, not just in McKinney, but around the region. I think that information here is valuable regardless of where you live and uh, provide your input. 
And please consider joining our networking meetings. Again, they're free, they're open, they're uh, educational, informative, and you also meet a lot of other people that share similar concerns. And we wanna grow this coalition uh, throughout McKinney and the region and really be a role model uh, for helping to address youth drug alcohol abuse. Look, the numbers right now are not good in Texas or around this country. Drug overdoses in Texas are up 30% from last year alone. Uh, and we know that that's impacting our kids in our schools. We have some of the highest youth drug using rates that we've seen since the 60s. And unfortunately, I don't know if that's gonna come down anytime soon, but uh, I think we can all agree that we gotta do a better job, uh, not only in our country, in our state, uh, in our communities, but our cities as well. And Drug Free McKinney will uh, continue to be a strong partner uh, with you and others who like to continue to work with us or new folks who like to come on board. So thanks so much. Again, check out our website, drugfreemckinney.org. Have a great rest of your day.